How do I clean my floor? I made a solution. It's water, it's um, hand washing soap, and then a little of bleach. Uh, actually, it's Clorox. And then I mix them well. And with my mopper, which I improvised, it's actually a car uh, scraper a car shield scraper windshields it's a car windshield scraper actually or a car window scraper so I I'm not using this uh, like a reservoir here instead I just put a towel and then wrap it with thread tie it with thread I should say and how do I clean my my floor I put a little solution on the floor and then I mop it so I spread it out but of course the floor should have already been swept free of anything and ready to be sanitized so this is how I do it every after two days but if I go out then I make sure that all those areas where I have stepped on, they should be sanitized. I'm sanitizing my room because I wash my car. And I know that because I'm not the only person here in the, in the flat, there are also some people uh, staying upstairs. So I do not know what are their activities. So for me to be safe and, uh, you know, well guarded with <clears throat> any bacteria, and I have to sanitize everything. So it's a bit crazy if you're going to think about it, but it's not because we do not know when the virus can attack you. So we just have to be very, very extra careful and be ready for any eventuality. That's why we have to sanitize and we should not be taking for granted the sanitation of our houses so we cannot rely on just clean hands but because these bacteria are not seen or this virus cannot be seen so we have to be very careful and extra vigilant on sanitize, sanitizing our floor but don't be too extra because the bleach is not also good to be inhaled all the time. So you just have to put. And also if you have some clothes uh, pin like this one or a clothes bag and they were removed, yeah? So if you put this back here, if you put it back here, of course, you have to slit it down there, isn't it? You have to do it this way. I'm, I'm holding my camera. Oh dear, how will I do it? So before you put it in, you have to press this. You have to press this pin here, but they should not be. It because I tried pressing them closer but because it's very hard so what you can do is you have to instead of like this you can do like that you know what I mean so instead of the pin when you push it going aligned to each other no you do it slipping okay one will be in not in the other line so it will be a stronger grip but if it's like this the tendency is it could go back like that so if you push them, if you push these two here, it should not be like this. It should be, one should be like this, okay? Going to the other, other side or trying to get in line with the other one, okay? Today I'm going to make my Dolgona cocoa. So I have here a cocoa powder. I just put one and a half teaspoon here not really that much and then I'm going to put brown sugar 
I'm not really a sugar person, but yeah. I'll put half a teaspoon or a tablespoon. Mm, I'll make it more. Okay, three quarters of a tablespoon. And I'm gonna put water, little water only, just for it to start the liquidify. That's it. And now I'm gonna do what others are doing. Stir, stir, stir until it becomes, um, how do you call that one? Creamy. Okay, stir, 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 stir. And I'm gonna try to put some powdered milk as well. Just little to add to its thicker consistency. There you go. Right, so I hope it will work. If it doesn't, then I have to add more water. I guess I have to. Just little. That's it. And I'm gonna stir it. I have to sit here and stir it well. So you can see. Because I'm holding my camera, it looks awful. It's between my legs. <laughs> All right, so let's put it here. It needs a lot, a lot of time stirring it. And then I'm gonna pour milk later, fresh milk. I have coffee but I'm not really fine of coffee, I'm drinking tea actually, uh, but not fresh tea, these are the pocket ones but they are nice, creamy and just little sugar, it's a ginger tea actually, but I think it's becoming bubbly now and creamy. So I'm going to show you the finished product in a while. I added more powdered milk because it seems that it's a bit too liquidy. So or it's too watery. Yeah. So now it's becoming better. There you go. So I use the powdered milk instead to make the consistency a bit thicker. So now it's becoming better. After several stirs, this consistency is what we got. Okay, so I'll continuously stirring it. It's nice really to stir it holding the, holding the cup holder. You can stir it as fast as you can. I'll come back. Right, so now I have to put milk, uh, fresh milk on the, on the glass, as I have seen from the internet. And then I poured the fresh milk there. And now my Dalgona. It's cocoa, powdered milk, and sugar with little, with little water so now let's gonna pour on top I hope it works oh it went at the bottom it did not float oh it floated after a while So this is another kind of dubgona.